Cook's quality machinery we're talking about here, the Kihung machine supplied by Ward High Tech. This is a bed mill. You've got other bed mills, but why did you buy this one? This particular one, Paul, it's got lovely XYZ travels, bigger than what we've got before. It's got the programmable head, uh, and it's a more, much more modern machine in, in that it offers the through coolant spindle, through coolant air blast, uh, and the real, the, the actual work scope, you know, the actual table. And You've the, got more capacity. Absolutely, yeah. And with this uh, this head here, does this this index to what two and a half degrees or something like that? two and a half degrees because it's a geared head. Now that's impressive. So this is a geared head. Does that give you more flexibility in machining as well? Do you, do you like a gearbox? Uh, we like we have, for the type of work we got, the nature of the work. We take big heavy cuts. We need a gear gearbox type machine. So you can get down to the low end when it comes to torque. We've also got a bit of speed for machining aluminium when you need to as well. Oh yeah, we've got ample speed for those sort of uh, applications as well. So it's a good compromise. Now this is a BT50 machine, correct? That's right. Is this the first BT50 you have? No, most of our other machines are BT50 also. And the tool changer on this machine, how many tools have you got for flexibility? Uh, 24 position here. Now, one of the things that we hear a lot about Ward High Tech is a few things, but one of which is they supply the machines uh, quite high specifications. Would that be the same with this? That's right. They're very highly spec machines. A lot of the stuff that, you know, other manufacturers you've got to pay extra for. It's already standard kit. And they would include things like linear scales, through spindle coolant, I believe. That's right. Yeah, so you've got plenty of flexibility in, in your machining. Now, the control on this is the Heidenheim 530. Did you have experience with this control before as well? Yeah, we've got a couple of other machines with the 530. Again, that's why we went for another 530. Okay, I'm going to bring your colleague into this in a minute because I, I also know that Ward High Tech, when they sell these machines, they're quite creative in supporting engineers with their investment from a finance perspective. Did, 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 you, did you see that as well? Again, Paul, that's another reason why we bought the machine off Ward High Tech. The help they gave us in structuring the finance was why we went for the machine. A couple of other f final points on the machine itself. You've got curtains either end, so it's not a fully guarded machine. Why does that help you? Uh, Paul, because of the length of components, some of the size of things we do, we need that flexibility where we can push things through over the envelope of the machine. And whereas if it was fully guarded, you'd have to take doors off, or you might not even be able to do that, would you? Well, that's right. It gets very restrictive, and this, this type of structure gives a lot of flexibility. And with the BT50, you're going to be hitting parts hard with the power, making, making swarf, which is what you like to do. What's the evacuation of the swarf like here? Uh, very good, Paul. Again, it's got a front and rear exit swarf conveyor, um, and that really gets rid of all the metal. Because that is key. Finally, the weight. This was something you mentioned to me. How much does this machine weigh, and does that help with its with its capabilities and its stability? Yeah, again, when we looked in our marketplace, this machine weighs approximately 27 ton. It's a lot heavier than some of its competitors. Pretty good, pretty good. I, I take your points on board, but I'm going to ask Vish what, how he gets on with this. If you'd like to come here, Vish. So you, you're an apprentice at the company, correct? Yes. It's been a um, year and a half now, so I'm trying to learn the milling side of it. And, and how have you found picking up this machine? Is this one of the first machines you've used? Um, it's the similar sort of machines I used on the other side. That before we had a smaller version of these milling machines, but this is the machine we just bought it six months ago, and this is a bigger and better version of what we've been using so far. I like those comments, bigger and better. What what makes it better? Basically, it's got the powerful through coolant and the air through it, and it's got automatic tool changes, 32 tool changes, and it's got a swarf conveyor, so you don't have to stop if there's a too much swarf inside. You don't have to keep stopping machine every five minutes or so because the swarf's coming out itself from the back, so you have to continue with your work and it saves more time. Okay, and I also like the way that this, the doors work on this machine. You've got plenty of, of access, haven't you? If you were doing like lots of different parts, you could set them all on one table? Yeah, that's correct. Because this machine is bigger, so we can for the bigger plates because it's the table says 3.1 by 1.2 meters so we can easily uh, load and unload big plates and big stuff rather than putting on a small machine which we have to do in a three or five different settings in here we can do it in one up good, good. you enjoy engineering yeah i'm really enjoying so far yes are you the future of uk manufacturing i hope so yes good stuff thank you Fish. thank you thanks cooks thanks for your time thank you paul